of ethic tactics. Yeah, it's it's almost like what concepts haven't I taken from Dutch football? You know, I've learned so much in Holland. Um, a great experience being there. You know, when when you're in Holland, basically after every training session, you have a debate with your players about the training session. After every game, you have a, a talk with with people about the game. People love to to um, to discuss soccer, and you really learn a lot. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone shares their opinion. And it was a it was a great time for me. I, I went to Holland just out of university, and totally unprepared for for professional level soccer. And you know, if I wasn't in Holland, I don't think I would have had that background, that that building that, that really helped shape my ideas. You're, you're speaking about um, you know, it, it's people forget that he actually played for a U20 World team in the World Cup. So he's been part part of our youth programs. As he transitioned to, to professional, there, came, there became some attention from the Dutch side um, and our side. And basically, it was about me just making a connection with him, talking to him about what we thought his role could be for us, what we think what the plans are for this group over the next eight years, and then introducing him to, to his teammates and getting him into our environment, because that's where I think um, you know, it really shines, being part of our group. It's a very tight knit group very welcoming of people um, coming into the group. And, and I think that's what ultimately helped him decide. Support from, from the U.S. has been uh, a bit surreal. You know, I know my dad's a teacher at school and, you know, they were all watching during their classes the game and, you know, supporting me and I was getting videos from the family, all the watch parties in my town and whatnot. Um, but it's, it's really, really cool to, to see how much just a, a tournament can change the perspective on, on, you know, people supporting soccer. And I think that's, that was one of our goals coming into the tournament is, you know, the farther we go, the more support that, that we gather. And that's what we want. We want, you know, the next generation and generations to come to have that support behind them. So, um, you know, when we can play an attractive style and, and you know, fight and represent the country in, in the right way, you're going to gather that support. Yeah, um, you know, I think just going back to, to when I was young, I was just very competitive. I didn't really care who I was playing against. So, you know, I think the older guys probably hated playing against me. And to a certain extent, I ended up on their teams a, a lot of the time, so they didn't have to play against me. So we created good relationships, you know, in my early professional career at, at New York Red Bull, I was very fortunate to have a lot of good captains to learn from. So Dax McCarty, Sasha Question, uh, Luis Robles, all guys that, you know, you can take different qualities from. And um, I just always thought to myself how I can relate to, to different people. So, you know, when I'm having a conversation with Tim Ream, it's probably going to be very different than a conversation with Brendan Arrington, who I spend a lot of time with. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely evolved in a lot of different ways. But when I'm on the field, I'll do, do anything to win. So um, I just figure out how I can get the best out of all of my players and just relate to them in different ways.